Spanish clay tiles and metal roofing are both popular choices across the world for roofing material, but they have very different characteristics and they have very different individual styles. So today on the Metal Roofing Channel, we are comparing and contrasting the two types so you can make the right decision for your home or building. What's up guys, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. I'm Thad Barnett. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. We release metal roofing and metal construction content every Monday and Wednesday. Well, buying a new roof is tough and it's expensive no matter what material you choose. But today we are comparing metal roofing, standing seam metal roofing specifically, and Spanish tiles often made of ceramic, clay, or some other similar material. Each one has its pros and cons, and each one has its considerations that you should be thinking about before you choose one for your home or building. Clay tiles have been used as a roofing material for centuries. There have even been clay tiles found in China that dates back to 10,000 BC, so they've been around for a while. Eventually they made their way through Asia and Europe, new advancements, new styles were developed, and that would make its way to the Spanish tile that we see today in that classic style that we all know. But there are some advantages and disadvantages, so let's take a look at the pros and cons of Spanish clay tile. The first advantage to Spanish clay tile is its longevity. These roofs last for decades. There have even been instances of clay tiles lasting upwards of 100 years. Now, of course, if you have extreme weather or the roof gets neglected and not properly maintained, that's gonna lower its chances for a long life. But certain manufacturers offer warranties that could cover the roof for up to 50 years. Another advantage is reduced heat transfer. According to the Tile Roofing Industry Alliance, roofing tiles have a natural thermal resistance in the raw materials themselves that are created by the larger cross-sectional areas of the tiles while installed. And because the tiles are installed individually instead of in an overlapping style, that allows air to move and circulate around the tiles themselves and create natural ventilation, which also helps with the reduced heat transfer. Another thing that I would chalk up to an advantage for Spanish tile is its architectural look. If you get one of these roofs for your home or building, you know exactly what to expect. If you live in an area like Florida, Georgia, Southwestern United States, California, these areas have Mediterranean and Spanish architectural influences where those terracotta colors, rustic reds, earth tone browns, they stand out but they also fit really well with the neighboring architecture. If you don't live in those areas, uh, it's gonna stand out even more and maybe that's something you are looking for to be unique in your home or building. It's eco-friendly. As I mentioned, Spanish tiles are often made from clay, which is a regenerating earth element that's not in danger of depletion. Uh, most products are made without chemicals or hazardous materials, and when they come to the end of their natural life cycle, they can be ground up and used for future products. So if you're looking for an eco-friendly roofing option, then Spanish tiles are definitely something to consider. They have a relatively low maintenance, and they're pretty easily replaced. We do suggest that you get your roof inspected on a semi-regular basis for leaks, cracks, or anything that would uh, reduce the overall lifespan of your Spanish tile roof. And also they have fire resistant qualities. Many Spanish tile roofing systems come with a class A fire rating, which means that they are less likely to uh, combust or to catch fire. Let's talk about some disadvantages of Spanish tile. Number one is their fragility. There is a potential for them to crack, break, or get damaged during or before or after the installation um, if they're met with enough force, if they're met with an impact um, during a storm. Or let's say you live in a cold temperature area where there's freezing and thawing. Over time, that can weaken the tiles as well, which is why you often see them in more warmer climates. But the good thing is if a tile does get cracked or break, they're pretty easy to replace without having to rip up an entire section of the roof to do that. Now Spanish tiles are expensive, so I would put cost in the disadvantage category. It's not necessarily that the material is particularly expensive, but the installation just takes a lot of time with individual tiles. It takes a long time to actually install the whole roof. So installation alone can be between 13 and $20 per square foot when you go to actually install that. Another disadvantage is the weight of the material itself. 
Uh, your building has to be able to support the strain that a heavy material puts on it. Clay tiles can be between eight and 15 pounds per square foot. And another disadvantage to Spanish tile is the strict slope requirements. For a standard steep slope installation for Spanish tiles, uh, that'll be around a 412 and above. You can use a single layer of underlayment. But if you're at a lower slope, anywhere from a 412 down to a 2.5 and 12, it's gonna be recommended that you use two layers of underlayment uh, for that um, Spanish tile to be able to drain water adequately enough for your system. Also, Spanish tiles inherently have limited color options. That might not be a problem for you um, because you are looking for that classic Spanish tile look. But you can also get coated tiles which have uh, more color options, but those are a higher price, so make sure you're aware of that. All right, let's move on to standing seam metal roofing. Metal roofing has been around for centuries as well. Um, original lead copper systems have dated back to third century BC. Um, advancements in metal roofing over years has brought us the use of uh, coated steel, aluminum, zinc, and other products which uh, give it longevity, good color options, and some other advantages that we'll talk about. The first advantage that we'll cover is the longevity. Now, most metal roofing will last for decades, but a product like Galvalume, which is an aluminum and zinc coated steel, will last upwards of 40, 50 years if properly maintained and in a good environment. Other options for metal roofing like copper and zinc have been known to last well over 100 years. So it all depends on what type of metal that you're gonna be going for. It's also a lightweight material. That Galvalum steel that we talked about, 24 gauge, is less than one and a half pounds per square foot. Or something like 032 aluminum can be less than half a pound per square foot. Now, that's a big difference compared to the Spanish tiles, which were eight to 15 pounds a square foot. The next advantage for standing seam metal roofing is durability. It can stand up to extreme weather such as hurricanes, hail, wind storms, driving rain, and it has the engineering and testing to back up that durability and that long lasting nature. And the installation can be tailored to your specific location and your specific weather events uh, that occur in your area. Also, standing seam metal roofs have the ability to go down to a low slope. A two inch mechanical seam panel can go down to a half 12 in certain instances with sealant in the seams in certain applications. Metal roofing is highly recyclable. You can recycle 100% of the actual metal that goes on your roof. And in fact, some of the material, much of the material that is used actually for new metal roofs today are already being used from recycled material. Standing seam metal roofs also have general low maintenance. They're pretty easy to maintain over the duration of the roof, and they have lots of color options, unlimited color options. Now again, just like clay tiles, there are a list of standard colors, but you can also order specialty colors, which do drive up the cost. Certain standing seam metal roofing systems are noted as cool metal roofing, which reduces the amount of heat that's transferred to your building and helps cool your building at a more rapid pace. Also, metal roofing has a high fire resistance. Um, they typically come with a class A fire rating, making it non-combustible. Let's talk about some disadvantages to standing seam metal roofing. And first of all, the cost is another high priced roofing material. The labor and skill that is involved to actually install a standing seam metal roof, it's much greater than other types of roofing systems, which drives up the cost. Also, metal roofing has the potential for oil canning. Oil canning are waves in the material that you can see from the ground and gets affected by expansion and contraction during certain times of the day. Um, certain lighting scenarios can make oil canning appear greater in certain areas. So we always suggest that you get some kind of structure in your panel like striation, which is a set of small ribs that are rolled into the flat portion of your panel to help reduce the appearance of oil canning. There are a lot of factors in choosing whether Spanish clay tile or standing seam metal roofing is right for your home or your building. Make sure you consider your budget, your particular style, uh, your location, your home, uh, the slope of your roof. All these things can be a deciding factor for your roofing material. And make sure you think through all these things. If you have any questions about your search or about the differences between the two types, please comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. 
As always, I'm Thad Barnett. Make sure you subscribe here to the Metal Roofing Channel, and we'll catch you next time.